Right, oh, so uh, the barn is getting pretty close. We, uh, <clears throat> as you seen in that last video, we did get some of the floor finished. So that's uh, pretty nice for us and Corey. We can now, I'm down at Fresh Produce here with the barrel. And uh, I'm gonna attempt to get this thing ready for winter, for storage, and move it out of here so we can get that in the barn. Out of the way from here, more projects come into here. I can sort out my barn. We've got a few things we want to do to this thing in the off season, which we'll go through. Not in this video, but uh, once the barn's finished and we're on to cars. So the main reason I'm here is there's actually a power outage at my house and uh, figure I'll be more productive down here than working in the dark. So here we are. With, uh, this thing hasn't got any, the, the fancy part of the electronics on this car, it's got an M150 in it. And uh, it's part of what we worked on to get the barra to hold together. But the rest of this car is super basic. So we are draining all the fuel out. And as you can see, you got the old, got the bridge in there. It's got the fuel pump bridge out. I could plug the ECU in, uh, plug the laptop in and turn that on, but we'll keep it simple. So I got the bridge in there. I just drained all the. Uh, E85, this one's just run on pump E85, so I just drained all the E85 out. It's one thing I like to do. Whenever I store my cars for a prolonged period of time is I drain all the E85 out, fill it up with uh, just some normal whatever. I'm gonna put 93 in it, that's what we got here. That's probably the best we've got. So, uh, I mean, you can buy better, but that's the best easy available one we got. So just gonna head down to the gas station now, fill up a can and, uh, Tip that in here, change the tune so it runs on that, and uh, that's that part of it done. The other thing we do have to do is it's got just uh, it's got red line water, wetter water in it in the radiator at the moment. So if we take that outside in the freezing, we'll be uh, highly disappointed. So we'll drain this wetter water out and uh, get some glycol in there. So that's pretty much, and we need to give it a wash, and then once we've done all that, load her up, take it to the barn, get it in there. So. Exciting, we're first running car in there for a while, so should be sweet. <coughs> Pull our bridge out. <coughs> we're running quite a big relay. It's usually if I back in the old days where I ran fuses and relays, this would be what it would get, big boy. <coughs> Never really have any too many issues with them, so that's sweet. All right, well, we'll uh, plug into the laptop now and uh, change this tune over so it runs half decent on petrol. We are in the off season. This is one thing that's going to get done to this car in the off season. There's our uh, fuel labs on board for this year, so we got a new fuel pump for this car. We run 2044s at the moment, but we're going to swap that over, so that should be sick. Alright, so this is pretty sweet. We literally just go into the <coughs> into the tune, into initial setup, and we can change our fuel type from E85 to gasoline. Change the stoichiometric value, fuel molar mass. And then uh, we can save that. We will just do a save as actually. I have already saved what I had previously running in the car on E85. I've saved that into a folder as well. So I can always revert back to that if I need to. Um, let's see. Barra. And we will send that in there.
actually taken a bit. Um, it could be my shitty adapter that I'm running from USB to Ethernet, maybe. Alright, let's see if that fires up on uh, 90, 93. Right, okay, let's... So we might need to give it some more air. So as you've seen there, we're just giving that radiator a good, good clean, and uh, it'll be kind of hard to tell. This ground's full of so much stuff, but uh, there's definitely a lot of rubber comes out of those radiators when you clean them. The amount of back there just soaks up lots of rubber. So uh, yeah, we'll give that a good clean. We got the radiator draining at the moment as well. Probably cycle this pump. Then uh, we'll put some coolant in it and then uh, finish washing the car and winter prep's done baby. Oil's changed, it's on 98, it's running good. So I've, uh, probably, we'll probably go for a quick drive actually, make sure just cycle all that 93 through the uh, whole car, the whole fuel system. So it's good to park up and then uh, we'll call this one good. Thanks for watching, we'll uh, finish this clean up and get this coolant in there. Anyone that's uh, never used one of these, you're missing out. These things are sweet. They're actually super cheap these days. And uh, I'm a big fan. So,
if this is a pretty strong corn colour, we're just going to run it. Uh, I mean, that looks like corn to me. Just a bit So uh, it's actually pretty cold out today. That pretty much brings this uh, video to an end. Uh, prepped it up for winter basically and uh, given it a good clean from the last event since I haven't done that since we broke the axle and just got pushed into the corner. So that's done. Coolant's in the car now so if it does get left outside it's not gonna freeze. That old note is pretty noisy, that bell. Um, yeah, just washed it, cooling. Oh, fuel, so that's all we're actually driving. So, so we're going to just go for a quick spin up and down the road here and uh, cycle some of this 93 fuel through the car, through the injectors, through the pump. Keep them nice and happy over winter while they're parked up. And uh, yeah, it'll also be good to get a bit of temp into everything we did just wash it with water and it's going to sit for a while so uh yeah That's it for this one. We'll uh, finish this drive off and put it in the barn, lock it up, and hell yeah, let's make a list of uh, what we're going to do to this thing for the off season. If anyone's got any sweet ideas, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll uh, make a list, let you know what the plan is, and keep you as informed with what we're doing. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.